20 minutes of video time. This is a video for any Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, I'm going to start redirecting people to this video if they comment. And I'm going to title it first, 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 XJW. Because I just want people to look at this before they watch any of, any of my other videos. If you have seen any of my other videos, I come across as a very, you, you may quite simply, stupidly say, you're an angry man. He's an angry man. I'm not an angry man. I am a man. And I get angry when talking about what happened to me when I was a Jehovah's Witness. Now, if people have seen my other videos, you've seen all this. You know the story I'm about to tell. Um, but you can watch if you want to, obviously. Anyway. The comments I get from Jehovah's Witnesses are exactly what I would have wrote when I was a Jehovah's Witness. Um, probably wouldn't believe myself, to be honest, the stuff that I've been through. Um, you can watch what I'm about to say and you can think, well, I think he's a liar and it's all untrue, which makes no difference to me. Um, but might make a difference to you because you could be lying to, um, be being lied to, uh, as I was. And um, so here we go. Um, we were going to Kingdom Halls for ten years, baptized since two thousand and twelve, February two thousand and twelve. Um, right from the first study in, we were just well into it. Did everything as uh, just. Full steam ahead. Studying until late at night and all sorts. We were into the Bible before we started studying. Now. Well, the final thing I like to talk about in my videos, the thing that made us leave. Was that we'd done nothing wrong. We were a nice family, a good example. Um... We get compliments from people in our small town about how well the children have behaved. Everybody knows us because we've got four children, which is more than usual. Um, uh, one of the, the old the old man at the road when he found out I was leaving Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, the organisation, he said, he said they've you know they've lost you. You're a, you're a, you're a good asset to them, um, and he said you're a good asset to the street, um, which was nice to hear. Um, we are a very selfless family um, and very loving, but the problem with what happened at the Kingdom Hall was there was a paedophile. We told the elders that we weren't happy and nothing was done about it. Uh, it was very hard. Um, even elders were telling us that they thought of moving when this black man moved in. And lockdown came and they moved the meetings to Zoom. Uh, now, it, a paedophile should not be on any internet web chat things. A paedophile shouldn't be on Zoom. End of. If you believe that a paedophile, Jehovah's Witness, should be on Zoom with children, then you are you have no heart. My I was told that I had to go on the link with my family on the phone and miss out on all the laughs and the fun and basically not be part of the, 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 the congregation in a way, if you can imagine that. Imagine being told you can't see your brothers and sisters and wave and say hello and chat and have, have fun. You had to be on the link. And um, and I didn't have to be on the link. I could have gone on the video. And I could have put my children on there. But that would have made me a not a very good dad. If you think that we should have sacrificed our Zoom meetings for the paedophile, then I may have, may have, may have, who knows, done that if the man showed remorse. I was told by an, an elder, a spirit-appointed man, that this paedophile had sexual thoughts, struggled with sexual thoughts about 
children. This is why he had some restrictions on him, very little, but he broke those restrictions. The only didn't, one he didn't, he didn't break was bringing a camera to the Kingdom Hall or, or taking any photos at the Kingdom Hall with his phone, etc. But he would come near the children, he would come on our side of the, the, our side of the hall. Um, we sacrificed the fact that the children were very upset they couldn't go on the other side of the hall to say hello to their uncles and aunties. Now, I'm telling you this and I'm not getting angry about it. I'm telling you what happened to me. This is true. Now, all the elders tried to tell me that the paedophile has a good relationship with God. Okay, he's having sexual thoughts about children and he has a, a good relationship with God. How about me and my children being pushed aside like that? They cried. Small children, little girls, roaring their eyes out. One of them was roaring her eyes out. The others did cry about it, but this one would come to me crying because she couldn't do her item that she was given just before lockdown, obviously. The elders were not going to take the beetle file off. So you can see, you can imagine, if you can't see the situation I was in, then you probably don't have children or you've just been in the tr in the in what you call the truth for so long that you have lost some heart. Um, um, so that's it, I just wanted to tell my story to anybody. I'm not an angry man, I just get angry when I talk about this man, this horrible paedophile man, who was absolutely disgusting. He was not nice at all, and he pulls the wool over people's eyes. One example, he came in one time when we were first in the hall, and he stood there opposite the hall, and he turned his body towards us, and he just stood there, and he glared at us. And he stood there, just stood there. Weird. He'd come over and talk to someone just two rows in front of my daughter, or a, a row between them, and he'd stare at my eldest daughter. An elder's wife came to me and told me that she she struggled to drive home because she was so angry that she'd watched the paedophile glancing over at my girls, which is, he was at the front of the hall. Imagine on your screen, here's the, here's the hall. He sat at the front here, near the platform, left. We sat here at the back right. She said he was looking over his shoulder and kept looking at the girls. She found it hard to drive home because she knew and everybody was seeing it. She was named and shamed in an elders meeting for telling me. She didn't get sleep for a few days. She was crying, really upset. And the elder, whose wife it was, he was very angry. She'd done nothing wrong but tell me what had happened. That's it. Um, although I was already aware of this, and so were the sisters, they said it makes them cringe, and they didn't like to talk to the man. I was also told by an elder that read a scripture about Lot sacrificing his daughters. Basically saying that I should spiritual matters are so more, much more important, I should just forget it, just take my children to the hall to be perved at by a paedophile. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with that. And if you do, you've got something missing. Something inside you is not right. We would have, we wanted them meetings. Why do you think we left? Why do you think it hurt us so much? We wanted. I didn't leave because I did didn't believe it. I didn't leave because I was looking at apostate things. I didn't look a lot. I leave because I didn't because I couldn't make sense of things. I left because. There was no other congregation for us to go to because elders in the other congregations were trying to convince me the man wasn't a paedophile. Even though the man had been to prison, had a tag on in, his, in the congregation that the man, this, the, the one man that was lying to me, the paedophile was on tag there. He was, he'd, he'd been in prison, this man. He went to Thailand uh, before he came into our congregation. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Thailand has a big problem with um, paedophiles. I know two people, nothing to do with each other, but I know these two people went to Thailand went in bars and stumbled across these bars. They didn't know what were there. Young girls, underage girls with numbers. And they were shocked. So that's that. Um, I don't know what else to say really. 
apart from all the other things I know which are true. Um, wives being beaten, pushed out of the truth, their families cut them off, and the men who beat them for no do good reason. See, I get I start to feel a bit angry there. Oh, I'm an angry man. They, um, he's still an elder, and I know this a lot. I know I know a few count, accounts of this because I know a lot of congregations. I also know a lot of cases of uh, child abuse um, that wasn't re wasn't reported. And after I left my congregation, I found out in my old congregation, there are two paedophiles. I could go on and on and on and on and on. But it's just boring. It all amounts to this. If you are a Jehovah's Witness and you are stuck and, and you just think everything's happy, then you are not opening your eyes and you just don't know things. That's all. I would talk to people in my congregation and they didn't know anything that was going on. I would We, we would talk to a, an elderly sister and we just told her all our problems. She said, I had no idea anything like this was going on in the congregation. She thought it was absolutely fine. Um, I'm not mentioning any of the, thing, any of the things that were going on um, in the congregation. Uh, that's not... I, I'm, I'm not doing this video for that. So there we go. There's your video. I'm calling it first, 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 XJW. Watch this before you watch any of my videos. Yes, I get angry. The God you believe in gets angry. I get angry. I am I was an ordinary Jehovah's Witness. And I left. And because I left, I joined uh, an X, XJW Facebook group. And you talk to people on there who are hurt who are seeing therapists and all sorts of things, who are still getting over what's been done to them years after by circuit overseers, elders, ministerial servants, and the, the, brothers and, the lower the brothers and sisters, the slaves. And the governing body, well, it would go into apostasy if I started talking about them and what I found out for a fact. Um... So now I have I left for that reason that what they did to us was that bad, um, but since I've left, I've found things out that does actually make me against the, that organisation. I um I wholeheartedly believe that it was um, God's organisation on earth, but um, now I know what I know. I know one hundred percent it's not. Um, so that's it really. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments, whether you agree with me or not. I've given you my, my side of the story. Um, I was lied to by numerous elders and um, yeah, it's not nice. But I'm good now, I'm free. And um, if any of you XJWs have been watching this, uh, the whole video, then Hello to all you lot, and um, hope you're all happy and having a good day, um, whatever, whatever you're doing, or a good evening, and yeah, that's all I've got to say. Oh, and also, we've got another hamster, it's called Mick, it's a female, but we've called it Mick because we've got Sheila, the female hamster, we've got two female hamsters, we've got Mick and Sheila, I'll do that in another video, thank you all, bye bye.